Hello, and welcome to Random Jewels. This is sort of a segment where I just, uh, there's no purpose to my nonsense, my dribbles. It's just, just sort of thoughts, sort of like, like I already meant meant to the um, tools alone segment to be had just sort of video diaries in my thoughts my everyday lives and uh, my grandma just died um, a couple of weeks back we uh, buried her yesterday and uh, surprise surprise I've been funneling this uh, phenomenon that we call life how conscious mind observes and more to the point uh, the, not exactly the phenomenon of life itself but the fact that every single living thing will eventually perish will just cease to exist like for example there are living things all around me. currently as you can see the trees Horse and, and in this pocket that I have here, there are quite a lot of dead trees. Now I've just gone here to bury them from where they came in the forest, that is. And the uh, fact is, uh, all life comes eventually and profoundly from the sun it provides energy and radiation rays some radiation obviously gamma rays and what have you which are lethal to life but anyway we have to also later and uh, you know that really I had a natural tools episode on that but um, so the life comes from the sun and with sun's energy, the plants take nutrients from the soil, nutrients and moisture, mix them with the chemicals of the air to create, transform the matter in sugars and carbon and matter which we herbivores can then eat and then the carnivores to hunt the herbivores and obviously in all stages of this food network the living things die on natural causes well being eaten by another living thing thing is a natural cause but anyway regardless of that mm, what was I saying about but anyway, now that I have got this burnt down wood, which I collected from my sauna and my wood burning stove from my heating room, I'm gonna bring it back to the forests where they belong. And now uh, the body of a sort of uh, multicellular life forms like mammals and other living things it takes a lot of time to decay and it is nice and good food source for many many living things here and there so is wood when it's dead like this one here it's gonna take some time for mushrooms and bacteria and insects work to work through it and even more so at this point we come to the this that we have here it's actually most of it is ash as you can see just this gray bit which flows in the wind but there are also coal which actually can remain here on the forest floor 
thousands upon thousands of years. So the living thing is not actually gone or dead. It just changes form, like do we all. Like do the, us, for example. And now, uh, as I said, I've been thinking about this phenomenon of life and death, this circle that we all roll into, and the relationship with the conscious mind, and that circle, how we, um, how scared we are, because we don't know what happens when we eventually draw our last breath. We don't know what happens. And obviously every living thing hears, but it does not know. Strange thing. Strange things frighten us. And in that front we are not any different than these trees, for example. Now it is... I suppose it is... Some people might say, and science even might say that, that we are the only living things capable of understanding our own demise, our own death. The eventu eventuality of our existence, that it will come to an end. But then again, I'm not so sure. Hmm? No. Not so certain because other living things too mourn for their dead. They have a concept of losing relative or member of the herd or whatnot. They help each other somewhat out. But just in the nature where the going is well as rough as it is, there is no room for such things. Not in her because anyway, because there's danger afoot in many different forms and if you caught yourself to be mourning to be uh, incapable of functioning in your daily life escape the brothers, be alert you're gonna die yourself then you're not gonna be able to reproduce produce offspring and then your existence would have been in that front irrelevant. But anyway, so I do think other species are aware of that, that they are going to die, but they are just too, too busy staying alive to be held on by that. Now we as a species don't have that sort of thing anymore. We have a all the time in the world, we don't have to avoid predators, we don't have to struggle, at least here in the first world countries, so we are pretty fortunate on that front. So we create all sorts of... Um, what do you call it? Institutions around that. Because we have got the time to bundle with the idea that we are going to die and the more that we think about it the more it creeps us out it, it scares us and we create these institutions to say that perhaps when we die we just go somewhere someplace which is happy so all the dead relatives are so we get then can see and interact with all those people we miss so much which have already gone and it is so easy to believe that and every single religion in the world exploits that fact that we are scared simple scared animals that don't know what is coming and sort of yes in the end when we die we're all gonna be like this dust and earth. When the sun 
eventually ex uh, well not explodes but ex expands to be a whatever it is white giant was it white giant? I don't remember. but anyway when it expands it will evaporate everything on this planet so we will sort of rise up in the last day and go to heavens the all star so I suppose in the end until that time my friends until that time my grandfather fathers my grandmothers my father actually and everyone else I bid you farewell see you soon Now that I come to think of it, this is, death is actually so profound part of living that well, this is actually natural truth. So, welcome to natural truth. Respectable, pacifistic son of a bitch.